This is my Horizon Hobby Radian XL, which I have decorated as an albatross and named affectionately Big Al. Because the wingspan on the Radian XL of eight and a half feet is the exact same span as the smallest of the albatrosses. The largest get up to 12 feet. So I've removed the stickers put eyes on it, painted a beak sort of a color, and call it Big Al. Now let's activate Big Al so you can see how it works. First of all, we have to turn on the transmitter. And then we plug in the battery. If I can do it with one hand, I can't, so I'll do that now. So it makes these little beeps to let you know it's ready. And then we can see how it's controlled. On the transmitter, the right stick, that's normally for ailerons when you have an aileron plane, is actually the rudder stick moves the rudder. Of course the other direction is the elevator and moves the elevator. And the left stick is the throttle and this little switch right over here operates the spoilers. Pop up, pop down. Attached to the battery, I have my Estes altimeter and my Scout GPS tracker to be able to find the plane if it gets away from me. The altimeter is showing the altitude we reached on this flight, 2,073 feet. I have painted the bottom of my wing black which is consistent with one of the breeds of albatross that is all white with a black bottom wing so that it can be seen better from the sky even better than just putting stripes on the wing as high as I fly this thing I have to have all the visibility I can get I'm showing you why in the video the plane pulls to the left this plane hit it flew into a tree and coming out of the tree it hit the ground on the tail and broke the tail off and I put it back together with glue and tape one thing I didn't seem to be able to do is get it straight so you can see it's actually curved to turn the plane to the left so I've got to shorten this control rod here to get it to fly straight at neutral rudder and neutral trim. My camera is this little Mobius Mini that's probably less than one ounce without the mounting metal on it. But I put the metal on it because it's actually a heat sink to sink the heat out of the camera. So I put that on and then I put a couple of velcro pads on the wing and stuck the camera on there like that and that's how I filmed this video of the tail. The reason that I wanted to film my very first film backwards filming the tail is because this plane has had some erratic movements diving or climbing by itself without any input from the transmitter and I wanted to see if it was that receiver, that stabilizing receiver that comes with the plane to see if it was throwing the plane up and down like that and so that's why I've done a full flight of 21 minutes and filmed the tail while I was narrating what I was seeing from the ground and added that to the video. I'm going to start off with full throttle, a little bit of down trim, and uh, 
See how it goes. Pulling back, pulling back, trimming back, trimming back, trimming back. Now it's climbing, climbing without any touch of the control. Going to the left now. Going down, pulling back. Going up, no control. Go to the left. Trimming up. Pulling up and trimming up. No control. No control. Going down, so I'm pulling up. Trimming up. Going down, so I'm pulling up. Trimming up. Too high, pushing forward. Steering right. Bumping left. Uh, stalling, pushing forward. Steering right. No control. Diving, so pulling back. Pulling back. Trimming up. No control. Climbing, pushing forward. Trimming down, pushing forward. Bumping right, trimming down, pushing forward. Flying level, no control. Trimming left, bumping left. Turn is planing, plane is turning left. Diving now, pulling back. No control, dove without it on its own. Pulling back, trimming back, coming down, pulling back, trimming up. No control, climbing, stalling, pushing forward, trimming down, bumping right, trimming down. Bumping forward. Going down without any control. Pulling back. Trimming up. Bumping forward. No control. Doing its own thing. Going left. I'm bumping right. Trimming down one. No control. It's like it's flying level. Bumping right. Trimming down. Bumping right. Turning right. It's turning right. I'm not touching. No control. No control. Seems to be going down, so I'm going to bump it up. Trim it up one feet. Bumping right. Bumping right. Bumping right. Trimming right. Still bumping right. Straightening, trying to straighten out. Looks like it's flying straight now. I don't know how level it's flying. It'll be stalling. So I'm going to bump right. Trimming left, trimming down. I think the motor might be slowing. I'm steering left, steering left, letting up, no controls. It's stopped in the sky, but I don't think it's stalled. I don't know if it has. Bumping forward, turning right, trying to level off, trimming down, trimming down, pushing down. Pushing down, pushing right, Push, trimming down, pushing forward, now pulling back, now 
diving, pulling up, kind of level. Bumping right, no control. Bumping left, no controls. Looks to be going straight, but stalling. Bumping down, pushing down, trimming down. Bumping right, bumping right. Bumping right, trimming right. Trimmed right all the way, no more right trim. Um, not to lose sight of it. I can't hear the motor anymore. I think the motor's quit. It's smoothed out, so I'm going to trim it up for gliding. Too high. Pitching up, bumping down, diving down, pulling back, pulling, pushing forward. Turning right. Cutting the engine off. No control, letting it do its own thing. Bumping right, steering right. No controls. It's trimmed all the way to the right, so we're gonna let it go left, because it still wants to go left, even though it's trimmed all the way to the right. It seems to be flying level, no controls. Still turning too sharp to the left and I can't trim it right anymore. So I'm gonna have to steer it right. A little steer right. Seems to be flying level. Straight, we'll let up the right rudder. See how straight it'll go. Still going left. Gonna push it right a little bit. Seems to be gliding smoothly. Still pushing right, but going straight, right rudder, just enough to keep it going straight. Right rudder, right rudder, Still holding right rudder. Still holding right rudder a little more. And it goes straight. Turn right rudder. Now letting up the right rudder because it's straightening out. Right rudder. More right. More right. just to go straight. It's taking this much right rudder to go straight. More right rudder. More. Don't seem to have control. There we go, straightening out. Letting up on the right rudder a little bit. Let it go to the left a little bit. It's going down a little steep. I'm going to trim it up just a little. Two bumps. Turning right to straighten it out. A little more right to turn it right. Holding the right rudder right there. Getting a slight right turn. A little more, just holding it right there, turning slightly right. Now we're going to let the right rudder up. Try to go straight, trying to go left. Now, uh, trying to adjust the rudder to go straight. Going straight, going straight. Seems to be gliding consistently. 
consistent speed. Now we're going to let it go left. Letting up on the right rudder enough to turn left. Not all the way. Okay, now straightening out. Pushing the right rudder. Straightening, still going straight with a little right rudder. Now turning a little bit to the left. Now straightening out with a little more right rudder. A little more. Going straight. Going left. Right rudder to straighten a little bit more. A little more right rudder. Okay, now straightening. Letting up on the rudder. The right rudder. Uh, I think I'm going to trim it down just a bump. It seems to be stalling slightly. Okay. Letting off the right rudder to let it turn left slightly. Turn right rudder now to straighten out. And to turn right a little bit. Not too much. Letting up on the right rudder. Letting up on the right rudder. Okay, it's, uh, it's stalling, so I'm going to trim it down three more beeps. And turn it right. Turn it right. It's a real airplane up there, not much higher. I'm watching it while I'm trimming or uh, bumping right. Still holding the right rudder. Holding right rudder for a slight right turn. Letting it up. Turning it right, more right. Looks to be going fairly straight. Little letting it up, go left a little straight, now pulling right. A little more right. Too much. Going back to the left. Now to the right. Pulling right. Starting a right turn, come back the other way. Pulling right, turn right. Turning, pulling right, turn right. Right. More right. There might be a little breeze up there that we're not feeling down here. Okay, we're now going to come straight down the above the runway. So I'm going to ease up on the right rudder. If I can go straight down this above me. Making some adjustments as it veers off to the left, I'm pulling to the right, pulling to the right, more right, more right, more right. More right. More right. Okay, it turned the right without my help. No change of the right rudder at that turn. Now pulling more right. Holding that rudder. It's turning, now I'm letting it up. Go straight for a while. And right, pull right. 
Still holding it right, but just not as far. This is no right rudder right here. Goes way left. Pulling right, straighten it out. Ah, it's looking straight, but it looks like it's stalling a little bit, so I'm going to trim it down a couple, three bumps. Still pulling right. Now I'm going to do a figure eight. Have it come over and then go left. It seems to be going straight, but maybe drifting sideways without turning to the right. I think it's drifting to the right. It's a little breeze that might be up there. I'm still holding the right rudder to get it to go straight. Then I'll ease it off to do a left turn. Pulling it right. More. A little more. Okay. Now letting it up to start the left turn, not quite. Still pulling it right. Pulling it right. Pulling right. Should be going straight. Maybe a little right drift. Now we're going to ease up on the right rudder to let it go left. Going left now. Holding the right rudder, still pulling right to keep it from going too sharp. Okay. Uh, too much right rudder. Okay, we're just letting up the right rudder enough to go slight left turn. Looks like it's coming down a little fast. I'm going to bump it up three trims. I didn't slow it much, so three more. Still pulling the right rudder. Keep it from turning too sharp to the left. Now we're getting a little wind, it looks like. So I'm not making any changes see what the AR3X is doing. Okay, porpoising, so trimming back down. Two bumps. Okay, pulling right to straight. Straight down the runway above us. Letting it up to go a little left. Holding the stick fairly steady. Pulling right. Pulling right. holding the stick steady. I'm not moving it other than very gentle to the right more. I didn't do anything there. I don't know what it did. I haven't moved the stick. Now I'm pulling right. Pulling right. Trying to go straight, we're pulling right, letting it up, letting it up, now easing it to the right, porpoising, going to trim it down, two more bumps, and letting it go left, easing the right rudder, still holding the right rudder, but Letting it go left, still porpoising, so I'm going to bump it down two more. Just holding this stick to the right, pulling a little more to the right. Okay, we're getting down here, so I'm going to let the right rudder up enough to turn left 
This will probably be our last circle before we land. Still porpoising a little bit, so I'm bumping it down two more. Holding the right rudder. The gentle left turn. We'll land it this time around. Letting the right rudder up a little bit to turn a little more to the left. Getting ready with the spoilers. Pulling right rudder. Okay, letting left letting up the right rudder so it'll come down toward me. Right rudder. Okay, letting up the right rudder. And left. Okay. Aiming right toward me, putting on the spoilers, bringing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it right, down, up, oh, landing.